Hey guys, Biomanager here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. Now, on the last episode, we defeated the Orochi, and I slaughtered the English language with an incredibly racist uh, Asian accent. And in this episode, we're going to get the last orb and see what they do. So anyways, like I said, you got to upgrade your town. It upgrades based on how many orbs you've gotten and in the NES version you just simply enter and exit the town and eventually it'll get to where it needs to be. Apparently there's something you gotta do here at night though in this stage which I believe is the fourth stage uh... yeah here it is what about the prison? that's not a bad idea things need to change around here Jenny's way of doing things is unbearable. We've had it. That's it. We must rebel. Don't try to stop us. We'll do whatever it takes. Don't go spreading this around town. Yeah, you gotta activate that. Please, I need to speak with Jenny about the way the townsfolk feel. I need you all to come as well. Jenny's asleep. Please go away. Well, I was able to open the door, but can't get in there. Anyway, we'll go ahead and stay at the end. To make it daytime. Go ahead and exit town and then re enter. There we go. Now we're at the last stage. Well, next to last stage. This is the town of Jennyburg, but it's not just Jenny's town anymore. It's rumored that the Silver Orb is located in the Shrine of Necrogamas at the top of the mountain. Uh, he already said that before. Let's see if there's any hidden items around here. Nope. Nothing. Some man came here the other day trying to sell a yellow orb. Jenny ended up buying it. The kids singing contest will be taking place here. Stay and watch it if you can. It's a wonderful event. My child is next. Kids these days make great singers. It's showtime. Ugh, I'm so nervous. Are you thirsty? Beer? Nah, we don't serve that here. Slimes are so blue. <laughs> I don't guess there's anything in here. See if there's anything in here. I am curious about this. Nothing. Let's see if your store has anything I need now. Nope, nothing. Jenny built this jail for arrested criminals, and now look who's locked up in it. Oh, Joshua! I thought I'd do it for everyone, but I overdid it. Ah, yes, please look behind the chair in my house. I'm going to stay in here for a while and think about what I can do differently. The people will most likely forgive me. Please visit me again. Thank you, Joshua, but I'll be staying here. <laughs> yeah, she won't let you bust her out. Thinking back now, Jenny made this place better. This is Jenny's home, but she isn't home right now. <laughs> A revolt took place, and now Jenny's in jail. It just isn't right. She said, check behind her chair. There we go, the final orb. 
Huzzah! I'm a soldier here. You strangers had best leave immediately. Let's see, do you have new armor and weapons? Alright, we got the dragon killer. Got the magic abacus and apron if still. Dragon shield, which we've already got. And the angel robe. Which, uh... I think it actually has some hidden benefit to your intelligence or something to make you a better caster. But, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll get two dragon killers, though. I guess I need to uh, rearrange my inventory, so I'm going to cut while I do that. See you guys in a bit. And we're back. Turns out I didn't need a, to get two Dragon Killers because the Thunder Sword is better. So I only needed one. Anyway, it's just to make sure... I think I was already as far as I can progress for the time being. But we'll take a look. She's Yeah, she's still in jail, so... Must mean that that's it. Yeah. Alright, that's all we can do here for now. Now we're going to use our orbs. Now, if you remember back a few videos when I got the green orb, we were told to go south of Tadanke, which would be north of Eden Bear. And that's precisely where we're going to go. It should be a small iced over continent with nothing but a shrine on it. That is our destination. It is called Liamland. Which another person had named out actually. Once we get there, it should become apparent what to do with the orbs. Better check my map to make sure I'm actually aligned up with it though. Looks like I passed it. Ah, we're almost there. Crevices. How did I end up fighting those with Repel Up? If I killed them in a single person's turn. Not even my strongest attacker's turn. Or my second strongest attacker's turn. Anyways, here we are at Liamland. We are... We are... Guarding the egg. Guarding the egg. When the six orbs are returned to their altars, the legendary Phoenix Ramia will come back to life. Joshua gently touched the egg. A great warmth spread across the palm of Joshua's hand. Alright. Well, let's see. I guess I have to use the orbs here. Joshua offers the green orb, and the torches light up. the blue orb. Joshua offers the blue orb. Joshua offers the silver orb. Joshua offers the red orb. Joshua offers the yellow orb. And finally, Joshua offers the purple orb. Now we get to see the egg hatch. Ooh, 
They're lighting up. How fancy. Actually, this cut seems a lot cooler than it is in the NES version. It's hatching! Long have we waited. Long have we waited. So long, so long for this day. Let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. Our time has come. The moment of awakening. The sky awaits. Time to fly once more, Ramia. It's hatching! The suspense is killing me! It's like when you hatch a Pokemon. Nah, I'm just kidding. There it is! Looks like a big chicken. It's ho oh. Except white. <laughs> Alright, you can definitely tell it's a phoenix in that view. I stand by my ho-oh statement, though. Legendary Phoenix Ramia has returned to life. Ramia is God's servant. Only one that is pure of heart is allowed to ride her. Ramia awaits you. Now go outside. I guess Ramia is waiting for me. Alright, we get to fly Ramia really slowly. It's the one thing I don't like about this method of transportation. It's pretty freaking slow. But I guess it's no slower than the boat at least. There's Baramos's castle, but we're going to actually head somewhere else first. Somewhere we haven't been able to go yet, because it's surrounded by mountains, but we've seen a few times. At least in this version of the game, you know that you're actually flying. I mean, in the NES version, it doesn't even look like you're flying. It looks like you're just traveling through land or whatever. Anyways, that castle right there is our uh, destination. So we will land right there. And waltz on in. Welcome to the castle of the Dragon Queen. Welcome to the castle of the Dragon Queen. Let's see... I pity our queen. She's nearing the end of her life. I'm worried about our queen, laying an egg while she's so weak. This is the closest you'll get to heaven, unless you're the hero. The hero can reach heaven from here. That's actually something to keep in mind for later. Much later. Much, much, much later. In fact, I'll just go ahead and say it. That's for the after you beat the game. The queen is ill, but she's going to lay an egg before she dies. Alright, now we gotta find the queen. On the NES version, it's actually hard to locate it, but the layout's pretty much the same. I'm the Dragon Queen, a messenger of God. You are the ones courageous enough to defeat Zoma. Zoma? Who's Zoma? I'm out to defeat Baramos. With this light orb, I hope you'll be able to restore peace. Alright, we got a light orb to defeat some dude named Zoma. It's time for me to leave this world now, and give life to a new queen. And she's gone. And left an egg behind. A baby dragon can be felt moving inside. Anyways, that's all we have time for in this video, so if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, tell your friends about it, and I'll see you guys later.